Today, we're diving into something cool, a sleek and modern full-screen split-column navigation that smoothly slides down when you click the hamburger icon. We will also learn to expand one link when you hover over it and shrink down its siblings. Stick around, and by the end of this video, you'll have a stylish navigation for your websites. But first, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you won't miss out on our future tutorials. Now, let's dive into the code. We begin with a simple HTML structure, a hamburger icon, and a page heading. Clicking the menu icon toggles the nav open class on the body. If you want to know how to animate this icon, check out our other video where we explain every step of it. We also have foundational styles in our CSS to set up the stage. Following that, we have all the styles required for our menu icon. Now let's talk about our navigation. We use a nav element with four menu items. In the CSS, we position it and make it cover the whole screen using the inset property. It's turned into a grid container with four equal width columns. We use pointer events and user select none so it won't interfere with other stuff on the page. And just to make it clear, let's temporarily add a background to see it covering the screen. Let's move on to the individual menu items. Each menu item gets its style from the nav item class in CSS. It's set to be as tall as the whole screen with a height of 100 VH, creating a full height column. Besides some basic styles, we turn it into a flex container, making sure the text stays perfectly centered. To ensure it doesn't inherit the pointer events none from its parent, we reset it here. Now for the animation, we prep it with the transform property. This gets it ready for the upcoming animation. And just to make them stand out, let's throw in a border. Next, we get creative by using the nth child pseudo class on our menu items. This lets us add some beautiful background images from Unsplash, giving each item its unique touch. To make our links even more charming, we will throw in some color overlays. We're using the after pseudo element, positioned absolutely to cover the whole column. Each column gets a vibrant color, and we're adding a smooth fade out effect by transitioning its opacity using the ease and out timing function. Let's tweak that transform property we applied to nav item. Setting the translate function to minus 100 viewport height will move it out of the screen area. When the nav open class kicks in, coupled with a transitioning effect, it smoothly slides down, creating a neat curtain-like effect. We can add the transition delay property to the menu items to spice things up a little more. With different values, it randomizes their movement, making the navigation even more interesting. Now let's add a bit more fun to the mix. We use the has pseudo class on our navigation container to expand a column on mouse over. This code selects the nav element when its first child is being hovered over and then reconfigures its layout by expanding the first column, making it twice as wide as the other three. By the way, if you're curious about the has pseudo class selector, feel free to dive into our brief video. We use an example to illustrate how it works in action. Coming back, we tweak the column widths individually for all four columns. We also need to simplify the repeat function in the grid template columns property to ensure a smooth transitioning effect. For some reason, browsers struggle with the transition when the repeat function is used. All right, let's see it in action. Click the menu icon and enjoy the smooth slide down navigation. It is a perfect fit for giving a modern touch to portfolio websites. You can also find the link for the live demo in the description below. If you enjoyed building this mini project, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting tutorials. Drop your questions or ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching.